All right, let me let my camera adjust. Uh, the last few videos I made, they weren't that good of quality, and I'm sorry about that. Uh, I just checked them here recently, and I noticed that the video wasn't that good uh, of the chickens. Um, here's a Kelso, three-way Kelso. He's just a stag. Three-way Kelso. He's uh he's half. All these I'm about to show you. These are all brothers. Uh, plus one more. I got another roll. Uh, but anyways, they're um they're half Johnny Jumper. Well, there's actually the mom was uh Johnny Jumper's new blood new blood yellow legged Kelso crossed with a black Mamba Kelso. And then I put the the dad is a Johnny Jumper Kelso. The uh the old blood of his. They come out dark. So some of these are dark and some of them are yellow legs so that's why so if you're thinking i'm just i don't know uh i'm just not right about them but that, they're all brothers here's another one they're all still a little shy that's what the dad looked like the dad was pretty much just like him Here's another one. These are all high breaking chickens. They break high. I want to get a video of uh, sparring, but uh, it's usually it's just me. I'm, I I do all the work out here, everything. These are all my chickens. Uh, it's kind of hard to make videos. So I guess I still go to school on 15 and stuff. So. Uh, but anyways, all these, all these chickens are mine. They're all mine, uh, and stuff. So it's kind of hard to make videos after school and stuff. So on the weekends, that's usually what I do. I've been raising them since I was nine. I that's when I first got the good blood, good bloodlines that I have now. Uh, I plan on getting a few more bloodlines this year. Uh, but that'll probably be in November whenever I hook up my lights for the for the broodcocks and stuff. Here's another one. These resemble the dead. These dark ones, these all resemble the dead. And these resemble the uh, the mom side of the fowl. They come out real light colored lemon with yellow legs. Uh, They're all pretty big chickens. They're about, they're about uh, four, five, four, six. Most of them. Uh, I guess they're about medium station. Uh, it's hard to say. I just fed them, so they're eating. And they ain't got a mean bone in their body. None of these do. Uh, now these, these are. Uh, this is a peahead gray. Dad was a peahead. Mom was a gray. Mule train gray over pea head. Uh, pea head hatch over mule train gray. And these are uh, kind of more of a ground shuffler. They shuffle on the ground. Uh, I'm going to let these mature. These are not that mature. Uh, they fight and they spar. But uh, I'm going to give them a while. They're still a little bit goofy whenever they spar. This is his brother, pea head gray. And, uh, I don't know why they didn't come out gray color, since gray is a dominant color, but, uh, they, uh, they came out like the dad, the pea head, and I'm for sure that's, I'm positive, you know, that's, that's the bloodline. Because I got the, the mule train grays and the pea head, the pea head or hatch, they come out blue leg. Not many, I've never really seen anyone who has them. Uh, the guy we got him from, he didn't. He never really sold to anyone. This is a Mercedes Hatch. He's he's younger than all the birds. He's he's only uh, I think six months old. But uh, if I go to show him, he'll be in the show with the eight up front because he's very mature. He's a young bird, but he's very mature. And I put him up here uh, with these uh, and stuff. That he's. I guarantee you he'll whoop any uh, rooster out here. He's he's a very good one. This is a gray hatch. 
You'll train Gray over over uh, Dwayne White Hatch. I don't got that bloodline anymore, but but uh, that's that was uh, last year was the last year I had that bloodline. Uh, I got I got rid of them. Uh, I like them and everything. I just uh, I already have three hatch lines. I don't want any more than three ha three hatch lines. But uh, and this this is his brother. And this is another pea head gray. And none of these chickens, it'd be surprising, but none of them have a mean bone in their body. Uh, here's some, here's two three-year-old cocks. Uh, uh, here's, this is a roundhead butcher. He's not fully molted out yet. Uh. This is my teepee uh, area. I took that rooster off. That was a yellow-legged Kelso. I put him in the brood pen. Uh, here's a pure pea head. He's young. He's uh, only five months old. He he didn't spar last time we sparred him, but I, I he's getting more, more mature. I think he'll spar next time. Uh, here's the other other three-way Kelso, the Johnny Jumper over Johnny Jumper. I put him over here because uh, he got into a pin fight. We had a windstorm and one of the pins blew over. He got in a pin fight. Uh, as you've seen in the videos before, uh, I did kind of a video, not with him, but I did a video with the one he fought with. He's all cleaned up and everything. I don't, uh, we haven't sparred him since the, he had the messed up feet and everything, but I think he's getting ready. Uh, Here's a pure Mercedes hatch. He's a three year old. Uh, here's some Dwayne White hatches. Here's another three year old Lacey Roundhead. I was gonna breed him instead of his brother, but uh, I'm not for sure, but last year I, he was the broodcock, and I don't know if he's fertile or not, because he, uh, I bred him a few different hens, and I didn't get any, uh, chicks out of him. I don't think he's fertile. I got a few out of his brother, uh, and stuff, but not out of him. Here's another, this is a Mercedes. And, uh, there's three more. Uh, Dwayne White Hatches. I guess I'm going to end this video, but, uh, these are the birds on the board And stuff. Uh, but anyways, I guess that's all of this video.